In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a 360 degree image, just like this one that you see here. I'm clicking and dragging and moving around the image. I can switch into VR mode and it goes full screen and it's like virtual reality and it's pretty cool. There's lots of use cases for this. I'm sure you can think of some as you're watching this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. The first thing you wanna have is a 360 degree image. This is what they look like. You've probably seen them before. It's kind of like a panoramic photo if you have that feature on your phone or on your camera where you take a photo and then you scan the horizon with your camera and it makes a really wide photo. From my experience, they usually don't go 360 degrees for the panoramic photo, but you can make photos like this using various tutorials I've seen online, but I haven't actually done this manually before, so I'm not exactly sure how to do it. But I do know that you need a 360 degree photo to make this work. I'm gonna download this one. This is from a stock photo site. This is Envato Elements. And I just searched for 360 image. I didn't add degrees or anything. I'm sure there's other results if you add in degrees or photo or whatever, but there's lots of options here. And these aren't specific to your use case. That's the problem. These are just examples of what you can do. This one here, for example, is not a 360 degree image. They have to have this funny kind of wave that goes through like this, like the walls are curved. These funny curves when they're actually straight in real life. That's one where you can tell it's a 360 image. So we have this one downloaded. And now in our website, we go to plugins, add new, and look up Algori 360. Here it is right here. It hasn't been updated in quite a while, almost a year. You want to see plugins that you're using regularly be updated regularly for safety concerns, for security reasons. But this is the one we're going to check out today because there aren't too many options for 360 degree images. There's also one for 360 video right over here if you want to do a video. Click on activate to activate the 360 image plugin. There's not much in the way of settings. You just go to posts and add new or go to an existing post. Let's just type in 360 image and click on the plus icon to add a block. There's a 360 image block right here. If you don't find it, just type in 360 and it'll show up in the search. And then we upload our image right there. Now this runs for a little while as it uploads and processes the image. Some important things to note is that this only works as a Gutenberg block with this plugin. You can't do this with the classic editor and you can only add one 360 image per page at the moment. So make note of those two things and I'll just pause this video. I'll come back when this is done. And we're back and here's the image. We can click and scroll or click and drag and move around the image 360 degrees, which is pretty slick. And you notice the walls look much straighter than they did in the actual image that we downloaded. If we go back to it, it was right here. Everything's very bumpy, like this big bump, bumpy wave going across the top. Not here. When it's all stitched together with the plugin, it looks great. Let's click on publish and see how this actually looks on the front end. Let's view the post and here it is. Pretty awesome. You can go up, you can go down. You can even use VR mode and you can go all around the entire ceiling and everything and the entire floor. What's amazing is you can't see the tripod that the camera was standing on. So we can see 360 degrees. That's the whole point of this plugin and this image type. So you can use this to create virtual tours for houses you're selling pretty easily or the interior of cars or some really cool nature scene there's lots of use cases for this, and this is how you can get it done and how you can use it on your website. Next up, check out this playlist right here where I show you how to make your website super fast, faster than you probably think you're able to with these techniques in these videos in this playlist. So check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.